Good evening, yogis. Welcome to Yoga with Jen. What a lovely Thursday night we have. You're noticing that I have an orange mat laid out tonight. And you guys know I always have purple. Well, today I have dedicated the practice to the sacral chakra. So I'm going to read you one of my poems to get started, and then we will proceed. This one doesn't have a title, so I'm just going to call it If I Knew, because that's the first three words in the poem. If I knew that everything I believed in more was true, what would I do? I'd wake up and let life take me as its own. I'd point at fear and say, you're not real. I wouldn't forget that I am linked to every flower, box, fantasy, and planet. I'd let love in, and each day, I'd stretch a little more until I could embrace the whole horizon. I'd sip green tea and savor the taste of oatmeal raisin cookies. I'd welcome whatever came next and know that the love in your eyes could change me forever if I let it. The sacral chakra is the second chakra in our chakra system in our body. I am wearing a nice, beautiful top with all the chakras showing. And that orange color at the bottom, second to the bottom, is the sacral chakra. It's located above the pelvis and below the navel. And it is the center where we gather our creativity, our sensuality. So let's begin this practice and let our sensual and creative selves come out. So let's start on our backs the way we always do. So we're gonna lie on the back, extend the legs, and you can take it down nice and easy on your forearms if you need a little help, and that's okay. I want you to lie on your back. Allow your upper back, shoulders, head, neck to just settle into your place. Allow your feet to turn out to the side. Your arms are by your side. Your palms are up. And you can allow a gentle curl in your fingers. Very gentle very subtle. Taking nice deep breaths in and out of your nose, allowing the events of the day to just clear out. Just imagine a ball of orange energy in your belly, working its way up the chakras, just allowing your creative self to come out. Relax into your jaw, relax into your forehead. Just start to come into your body very gently. Eyes are closed very subtly, very gently. Just trusting the mat below you, feeling secure. Allow your head to move to the right and to the left as if you're massaging the back of your head. Inhaling as you come through center and exhaling as you turn. One more on each side. And then we'll stop in the center. As you inhale, draw the knees into your chest and take a hug of your knees below the kneecap, 
around your shin. We're going to place the palms on the knees, but instead of our normal warm up, we're going to do circles and we're going to start counterclockwise. So we're going to take both knees, circle them around as if you're hitting all four sides of the mat. We're going to do this five times. Just using the breath to bring the knees around. Exhaling away. Inhaling to draw in. And we'll do one more round. Stopping in the center, taking a pause. And then we're going to reverse the direction as we go counterclockwise with the knees, circling around as if we're ticking around the clock. Two more beautiful circles. And when you get to that final one, just taking a pause in the center, giving your knees another hug below the kneecap. And it's in your practice. As you inhale, draw the knee, your nose towards your knees. Take a hold for two breaths. Exhaling down nice and slow. Allowing both feet to touch down onto the mat. The soles of the feet are on the mat. As you inhale, you're going to lift the right leg, placing the right ankle over the left knee for a supine pigeon. We're going to thread the arms in between the left leg you can clasp under the left knee, or you can hold the shin if it's in your practice. And as you exhale, we're going to draw the right knee away from the body, feeling that counter stretch. You're gonna feel it right below the glute. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. As you inhale, we're going to release the arms. Exhale, returning both soles of the feet to the mat. Take a breath here. And the other side, as we take an inhale, we lift that left foot, placing the ankle on the right knee. We're going to send the arms and thread them through. Clasping behind the right knee. And on the exhale, just draw that left knee away from the body. And we'll hold this for 20 seconds. That's 20. So as you inhale, just release your arms to your side. And on the exhale, we're going to return both soles of the feet to the mat. Take a mat width apart. Just do a quick windshield wiper about two times. And then we're going to inhale and draw the knees into the chest. And then whatever side feels intuitive to you, we're going to roll. Taking one quick pause, resting on your bicep. And then taking that top bar, we're going to push up, transitioning into a child's pose.
taking your knees mat width apart, unfurling and flattening the toes and the toes touch. As we exhale, we're going to draw the hips and the glutes back towards the heels. We're going to extend the arms long, allowing your forehead to gently touch down on the mat. This is where we activate our third eye chakra, the gateway into our intuition. Allow your belly to settle between your thighs. Taking a breath. And exhale. Pushing your palms onto the mat and lifting your forearms off the mat. As we inhale, we're going to come forward to modified lion, coming forward, engaging the elbows. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Draw that belly in. Exhaling back. Child's pose. Keeping in an active child's pose. Inhaling, coming forward to your modified lion. Exhaling back through child's pose. And now let's move and breathe, breathe and move using your own breath, your own speed, making this your warm up. And if you'd like to stay in one of the poses longer than the other, then that's exactly what you do. Your body knows what it wants. It knows what it needs, and that's what you do. Just remembering to breathe on the way up, exhaling on the way back. One more round, and we will pause in child's pose. As we inhale, we will transition into tabletop, bringing those knees in, lined up with your hip. Your palms are pressed into the mat. Your wrists are lined up with your shoulder. QL stretches. As we exhale, we're going to take the gaze over the right shoulder as if you're trying to take a peek at your right foot. Inhaling, coming back through center. Exhaling that gaze over the left shoulder. Inhaling back through center. And now just move and breathe. Breathe and move between the two sides at your speed and your breath. Just giving your body the movement and stretch that it needs. And one more round, stopping at tabletop, in the center, in neutral. And then we're going to do hip circles. So as we exhale, we're going to circle around counterclockwise, making our way around, backwards on the clock. We're going to do five circles counter, and then we will pause, and we will reverse the direction. That's my five. I'm going to take a pause, and now let's reverse clockwise, as if we're hitting every corner of the mat.
These feel really good. I like these. And it kind of goes with the sacral chakra, that sensual side. Just allow yourself to let go. And when you got to your five, come back through your tabletop. Cat cows. Starting with the cow. As we inhale, we draw that navel towards the mat. The tailbone lifts, the back arches, the eye gaze looks up. And we're gonna exhale into that cat lift, drawing that navel towards the spine, rounding the back, eye gazes down. Inhale for your cow. Exhaling for your lift. And just move and breathe, breathe and move through the two at your own speed and breath. Just imagine that hollowing cat as we pull up. One more round of each, and we will pause in our tabletop. Lateral leg lift. As we exhale, that right leg lifts out to the side 90 degrees. Inhaling that right knee back. Exhale, lifting that left leg out to the side at 90 degrees. Inhale, returning. One more on each side. Exhale the right. Inhale back. Last one, left. Exhaling back down. And a little spinal balance. Moving your palms up just a little bit more. Exhale as you step the right foot back. Flex the toes, staying on the mat. As we ex inhale, we're going to come forward, point the toe. Exhale as we come back, flexing that toe. Going to really feel that in your calf. Inhale, the toe points, body shifts forward. Exhale back. One last one. Inhale as we point. Exhale back, hold that flex. Returning that right knee under the hip. And now let's get the other side. As we exhale, we send that left foot back, flexing the toes. Inhaling as we point the toe and the body glides forward. Exhaling back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One last time. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Hold that flex. Inhaling that left knee back. Take it, cross your legs behind you. Have your glutes touch down behind your heels. And then we're gonna turn and face front for the seated sequence. Moving those sit bones out of the way. Straightening the back. Allow your shoulders to be drawn from your ears. Palms are down on your knees and we'll get some shoulder rolls in. And we're just gonna inhale, lifting those shoulders and exhale as we roll them back. Inhale as we lift. Exhale back. Inhale, lift. Exhale back. Two more on your own breath. And pause. Now we're going to inhale, lifting those shoulders. And we're going to exhale as we roll them forward. Inhale as we lift. Exhale, rolling forward. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale forward and two more using your own breath. And hold. And a nice wrist massage. Coming together, palms are together. As we inhale, the palms open towards our face. And as we exhale, the backs of the hands together as we roll them around. We're going to do this five times total. After being in the tabletop positions, definitely want to make sure we keep the wrists nice and relaxed. And we're going to pause at that last one. Now we're going to reverse that. And as we exhale, turn the palms out, rolling them back in. We'll do five of these. I'm going to do one more for safety. And we end. Hands at your heart. And then gently returning the palms to your knees. As we inhale, that right arm is going to lift high. We're going to reach over to the left ear. And as we exhale, just a nice, gentle stretch down the left side of your neck. You can close your eyes here if you'd like. Now we're going to inhale and extend that right arm up. And we're going to exhale and return it to the right knee. We're going to inhale, send that left arm up. We're going to reach it over to the right ear. And as we exhale, we just take a nice, gentle side stretch for the right side of the neck. I'm going to inhale and extend the arm up. We're going to exhale and return it to the knee. For the next couple of poses, we're going to turn side on because we're going to work with a forward fold and uh, head to knee. So extend the legs long, about hip width apart, and flex the toes towards your forehead. And this is one of the poses that's very good for your sacral chakra. So as you inhale, Bring the biceps to the ears, draw your belly in, and as you elongate your spine, you're just going to very gently exhale and fold forward towards your feet, allowing your hands to land where they're comfortable. The forward fold is not about how far down you go. You want to stay in a nice, comfortable posture. And if you have any discomfort here, it's okay to give a little bend in your knees. Just want you to be comfortable. As you inhale, we just gently lift, and then we exhale and surrender a little deeper. And allow your toes to point very gently. One more little inhale, and one more exhale, trying to gain just a little bit more space. Then on the next inhale, just allow your palms to gently travel up your legs for Janusarasana, which is head to knee. The right leg will stay extended. You're going to bring the left sole of your feet inside of your right thigh. You're going to square your chest over your right leg. As you inhale, you're going to bring the biceps to the ears, draw the belly in. Open the chest, shoulders are drawn from the ears, and as you exhale, you're going to allow yourself to fold forward over that front leg. Taking nice inhales and exhales here as your body comes closer to your lips, one day kissing your knees. And hold. I'm going to give you an option here. Your left arm on the outside of your right leg. And then as you exhale, send your right arm back as if both fingers and arms are stretching away from each other. Inhale. 
Exhale. Then gently returning the right arm back to your right leg. And as you inhale, just allow those palms to gently travel up your right leg, extending both legs long. Let's do a little rumble of the legs. Keeping the left leg long, the right knee comes out, the sole of the foot inside of the left leg. We're gonna square the chest over that left leg. We're gonna take an inhale, bring those biceps to the ears, draw those shoulders away from the ears, draw that belly in. And with an elongated spine, we're gonna exhale, just allow your body to surrender to that left leg. Coming down, breathing in and out of the nose. And with each out breath, again, just getting to our eye on the prize, kissing our knee one day, feeling that beautiful stretch underneath your legs, your calf, your hamstring. Two more breaths. And if you want to join me in that option, that right arm goes on the outside of your left leg. And then as you exhale, extend that left arm behind as if your fingers are opposite magnets pulling apart. And with a gentle inhale, returning both arms outside of your left leg. And then you're just gonna gently allow those palms to grace up your left leg. And then we're gonna extend the right leg long to another little rumble. And then we're just gonna do a nice gentle twist. So I'm gonna draw the right knee up Take the left elbow outside of the right knee. Take that right hand behind. We're gonna straighten the back as if it becomes an extension of your spine. And as you inhale, eye gaze up. Exhale, take the gaze over your right shoulder. Call this the Marici twist. Our chest always twists to the inside of the thigh. Take an inhale, lift. Take an exhale, try to twist just a little bit more. And as you inhale, gently bring your eye gaze and you turn your neck forward, releasing your arms and sending that right leg long. And now we'll get the other side. Bringing the left knee up, the sole of the foot is inside of your right leg. Your right elbow is going to cross over to the outside of your left knee. Your left hand is going to come behind, nice and straight, like it's an extension of your spine. As you inhale, eye gaze forward, and as you exhale, just turn, take your eye gaze over your left shoulder. Inhaling. And with that exhale, just try to tighten the twist just a little bit more. On the inhale, we're bringing the head back through neutral. And as we exhale, we're just going to release the legs, maybe give the arms a little shake and a little rumble. And join me in standing for our balance. For balance today, we're gonna to do a tree pose and an eagle pose. But with the tree pose, we're gonna do a bending tree pose. So I'm just gonna uh, kick it up a little notch. Let's just take an inhale, allow those arms to rise high over your head. Let's take a nice exhale, forward fold, just let everything go, chest on thigh. Inhale as we root to rise, arms back high over your head. Exhale, hands to your side. We're gonna put the weight into the left leg. 
The right knee is gonna turn out. Now your sole of your foot can be below or above your knee, inside your thigh. Each week I always think, well, oh, maybe this will be the week that I go up to the thigh, but I'm gonna stay right here. Draw your palms together at your heart center. As you're doing that, push your palms together, feeling the activation in your biceps. As you inhale, you're gonna extend your arms up over your head, but we're gonna keep them together. Then with an exhale, we are going to take a gentle side bend to the right. Option, right arm can drop down to the right knee. Beautiful. Inhale that right arm back up over your head. Right knee points forward. Exhale the hands to your side. Return that right foot to the mat. And let's get that on the other side. So I'm gonna turn that left knee out, the sole of your foot at your ankle, or if you wanna be brave and bring it up, I'm gonna stay right here. Bring those palms together, pushing them together, getting some bicep activation. Now as we inhale, we're gonna send those arms up to the sky and hold. And now we're gonna take that little bend in our tree. So as we exhale, we're sending the left, right hip out to the side, taking a bend to the left. With that option, you can drop the left hand down to the left knee. Inhaling that left arm back to meet the right. Left knee points forward. Exhale those hands to the side, replacing that left foot. Now let's just take a little, little rumble with the legs, nice little shake, and let's do a nice eagle pose. So with your feet, a little less than hip width apart, we're gonna take that little bend. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna cross it over the left. Now if you'd like to be elevated, you can lift that toe or you can stay grounded. That right arm is gonna come behind the left. Many eagle arms, palms together, back of hands, or you can do crisscross applesauce, wherever your body is. We're gonna take a bend in that standing leg. We're gonna straighten the back, draw the shoulders from the ears, and we're just gonna hold this. We're not gonna fold this week, we're just gonna hold this. As you exhale, you're gonna release your hands and uncross your legs. Take a breath, exhale, and let's get the other side. Taking that little curtsy, taking that left leg over the right, taking the option where you wanna be with your foot. Take that left arm underneath behind the right, circling at the elbows, taking your version of eagle arms. Elbows are straight. Take a bend in that standing leg, straightening the back, because we don't want to be hunched, straightening that back, and we're gonna hold our eagle. Drawing the shoulders from the ears. As you exhale, we're gonna unbind, shake out the arms, shake out the legs, come into the top of your mat, for a sun salutation. Feet are together. Ground all the toes into the mat. Spread the toes wide. See the color of the mat between your feet. Your arms are at your side. Your inner knees are pointing to opposite baby toes. Tadasana, arms at your side, shoulders away from your ears, belly is drawn in. Inhale, arms rise high over your head, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, chest on thigh. Inhale, halfway lift, Padagustasana, flat back. Exhale, back to your down dog, stepping one foot at a time. Feet are hip width apart, elbows and knees are engaged. Belly is drawn in. 
and you're drawing your chest towards the mat. Feet are flat on the mat if you can get there. If not, you are where you are. Now let's walk our dog, bending one knee, straightening the other, walking in place. And then we're going to inhale both heels up, exhale both heels down. Inhale both heels up, exhale both heels down and hold your dog. Take a bend in the knees and as you exhale, bring the right foot through, dropping to your left knee, unfurl and flatten your left foot. Inhale your biceps to the ears for your low crescent lunge. Now we're just going to sink forward, coming back for a baby back bend, just looking up, opening that sacral chakra. Exhaling both hands on either side of that front foot, your left palm plants. We're going to inhale, right arm lifts to the sky, turning to your inner right thigh. Exhaling that right hand back. White foot comes back through down dog. And we're going to take a chaturanga here, ladies. As we inhale, we're high on the toes, coming forward for your plank, dropping to your knees, exhaling down to crocodile, elbows to the back. Inhaling up for baby cobra, elbows are tight to your side. Exhaling back to down dog, tucking the toes. You can go from tabletop to down dog if that's where you need to be. Inhale as you walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, Kadikustasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, chest on thigh. Inhale, rooting to rise, arms rise, high over your head, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to your side, Tadasana, palms face forward, your mountain pose. We have another side to do. Inhale, arms rise, high over your head, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, chest on thigh. Inhale, halfway lift, Padigustasana. Exhale, stepping back to your downward facing dog. And again, we're engaging those elbows, engaging the knees, legs are hip width apart, drawing that chest and belly towards the mat. Walking the dog again, inhaling up, and exhaling down. One knee bends, the other one straightens. And then both heels, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, hold and steady your dog. Taking a bend in your knees, exhale, bringing your back leg, the left leg through, dropping to your right knee, unfurling and flattening your back foot. Inhaling your biceps to the ears, low crescent lunge. And now sinking into the front hip flexor, taking that baby back bend. Just opening everything here. Exhaling both palms on either side of that front foot. Right palm plants. Inhale, left arm lifts. Twisting chest towards left thigh. Exhaling that left hand back down. Left foot exhales back to downward facing dog. Coming through for our chaturanga. Exhale, high on the toes, coming forward to your plank. Knees or toes, your choice. Exhaling down, baby cobra. Exhaling back through tabletop if you need to, to your downward facing dog. As you inhale, walk your feet to your hands, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, allow those arms to rise high over your head. Exhale, hands to your side in your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Coming back through center as we go through some standing strength. 
building strength in our legs, our thighs, our calves. So take your feet wide, point the toes out for a little goddess pose blow. As we exhale, we sink into the front knees, we tuck the tail, the arms come out to the side in goal post. As we inhale, come up on the right heel, exhale down. Inhale, come up on the left heel, exhale down. One more time, lift, exhale down, lift, exhale down. And if you wanna really do it, both heels, lift. Feel your strength building, exhale down. As you take an exhale, side bend to the right, Inhale back through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale back through center. And again, side bend to the right. Inhale back through center and one more time. Left, inhale back through center and just hold your goddess for a moment. I love this pose. Straightening the legs, setting up for warrior two. The right toe points to the wall. The left foot squares off, toes point forward. We're gonna exhale down into that front knee. Externally rotate that front knee. Your hips and shoulders are stacked. As you exhale, send those arms out wide. Your eye gauge, your drishti, is to your middle right finger, right down your middle finger. Side angle. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Right arm on thigh. Inhale that left arm high. Imagine a beautiful straight line from the middle finger to the back side of your foot. As you inhale, we're opening to Sun Warrior. Bottom of your body does not change until now. Push off the ball of your heel, coming into Reverse Warrior. Exhaling gently back down to your warrior two. Turning that right toe forward, pigeon toeing both toes in for your forward fold. Arms out wide, belly is drawn, elongate your spine, open that chest, and as you exhale, we're just gonna gently fold forward, allowing those palms to touch. Allow your head to look through your legs to behind you. Seeing the world upside down. Planting the left palm, we're gonna inhale and lift that right arm as we twist towards the right leg. Option, you can wrap that right arm behind. Exhale as you return both palms to center. Planting that right palm, inhaling, lifting that left arm up. Eye gaze is up with that option to wrap behind you your opposite hip. Exhaling as you return that left palm. Options to come up, a slight bend in the knees. You can stay straight. Palms on your thighs, arms on your hips, arms out, but wherever you are, just use your core to help you come up. Now we'll finish with our warrior two sequence on the other side. Left toes pointing to the side. Right foot squared off, toes are forward. As we exhale, we sink down to that front knee. Knee is over the arch, looking for a 90 between the ankle knee and the hip, externally rotating that front knee. Send those arms out wide on your exhale. Send that drishti down your middle finger. See if you can sink just a little lower. Side angle. As you exhale, reach, reach, reach. Left arm on thigh, right arm up high. Inhaling as you're opening from your sun warrior, right arm back, left arm up. And now push off the ball of your feet for that reverse warrior. Exhaling back down carefully to your warrior two. Hold. 
and then gently straighten that left foot, toes come back to front, hands on your hips, and just heel toe your feet in nice and gentle. Now it's time to go down to the mat. I can just tell and know you guys are doing great. It's so hard when I can't see you, but it's okay. Cross your legs. Coming down for some back and core work. And we're gonna do some cobra pose, ending up in the up dog. So for cobra, your wrist, your arms are on the mat, and your chin is touching down, and the back of your feet are flattened and unfurled. As you inhale, you're just gonna gently lift, but using your lower back muscles. And to make sure of that, see if you can lift your palms off the mat, if only, even if only for a minute. But if you're comfortable keeping them down, that's fine. Eye gaze looks up. Hold. Touch down if you've lifted. And then exhale, lowering down. Stack your palms and just allow your forehead to touch down for a quick rest. And let's set up for cobra number two. Coming back down to the mat, tops of feet are securely on the mat, legs are together. Your forearms are on the mat, your palms are on either side of your shoulder. And as you inhale, you're just gonna gently lift, you, lift, you lift. tongue twine, using your lower back muscles. And again, if you wanna lift your palms off, eye gaze up, getting stronger in your lower back, gently lower your palms down, cross your palms, in front and lower your head for a quick rest. And then I'm gonna take you guys through a up dog. Up dog is almost the same way. So you're forearms or on the mat. And this time when you come up for your cobra, you're going to push into the mat with the tops of your legs. Your palms are going to push up, which are actually going to be lifted off the mat from your, like your knees up. And then you can gently exhale down. Take your arms to your side, just turn your head for a moment. Toes together, heels out. Return your palms under your shoulders. We're gonna do a plank and a few yogi push-ups. Plank can be done on your knees or on your toes. So with your palms pressing into the mat, you need to be, if your plank is here, then this is where you are. Plank on your toes, you tuck your toes and you come up nice and level. We don't want a plank like this, and we're trying to avoid a plank like this. Just nice and level. With plank, whether you're on your toes or on your knees, your body has the same shape. So wherever you are, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Drop to your knees at any time if you're not there. Exhale, coming to your knees. Bring your heels back towards your glutes and on your heels just for a moment to take a breath. Another inhale. And let's do about six yogi push-ups. So coming back to plank, wherever it's comfortable for you. If you want to do your push-ups on your knees, that's fine or if you want to do it on your toes. For me, I'm a knee girl. So let's, let's get through six. 
So as we exhale, we're gonna lower down, elbows to the back. Inhale as we push. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now I want you to walk your knees in. And we're going to set up for a pigeon pose. We're going to work some, get some hip work in. Let's do this from tabletop. So let's set up in tabletop. Wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. The right leg is going to lift behind. As you exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Allow that knee to slide down. Lean to the right. Your left foot can come out at 90 degrees, or you can send that left leg long all the way behind for the full expression of pigeon. You want to roll that left hip towards your right heel, and then you're just going to lower down gently for a sleeping pigeon. Now you can stay here if that's where you need to be. You can stack your fists together and rest your head on your fists. This is where a block can come in handy. You can put a block down here and rest your head on the block. Or you can just extend those arms long and allow the forehead to touch. I absolutely love this pose. I can sit in this for quite a long time. It's great for your IT band. It's a great hip opener. And I just love it. Nice deep breaths here. In and out of your nose. As you inhale, walk your palms in underneath your shoulders, and you're going to push your body up. We're setting up for a spiral twist. Bring that left foot back out at 90 degrees. The right arm sits behind, and as you inhale, that left arm is going to lift high. You're going to push your hips forward, taking a spiral, eye gaze down at your right hand. As you inhale, lift the hips just a little higher. And then you're just going to gently release back down, setting back up in tabletop so we can get the other side. Another good for the sacral shot. Lining those wrists up underneath your shoulders, knees up underneath your hips. You're going to extend that left leg out behind. And as you exhale, you're going to draw that left knee in toward the left elbow. That knee is going to slide down. You're going to roll to the left. Bring that right leg out at 90 degrees just to start. And if this is where you need to be, this is where you stay. But if you'd like to take the full expression, extend that right leg long, rolling that right hip on to your left heel, taking your option for your head, stacking your palms, or just sending yourself long and allow your pigeon to sleep. Getting that beautiful stretch, hip flexors, hips, IT band, everything here. Nice deep breaths. Allow your body to surrender to the pose. As you inhale, walk your palms in underneath your shoulders. You're going to gently push your body up. Bring that right leg back out at 90 degrees. The left hand drops behind. And as you inhale, that right arm lifts, the hips push forward for your spiral twist. Eye gaze down at your left arm. As you exhale, gently release down. Coming into bound angle. Sold your feet together. 
allowing a little room between your heels away from your uh, glutes as if you're making a diamond shape. Your back is nice and straight. And as you exhale, just gently allow your body to fold. Throwing your head towards your feet. Gently inhaling your body up, bringing your hands on the either side of your hips, lowering down on your back for your reclined bound angle, keeping your soles of your feet together, opening your knees, and just allow your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your belly, right near your sacral chakra. Breathing in and out of your nose, calming everything down. Gently release your hands and with the help of your palms, draw your knees together. Together, drawing them into your chest, keeping your right knee in, extend your left leg long, flex your toes, and then gently just draw your right knee towards your right underarm, avoiding your rib cage. For knee to chest pose, apasana. And this actually massages your ascending colon as well. Great for your digestion. Inhale the left knee in, send the right leg long, keep the foot flexed, clasp the hands below the left knee, drawing that left knee toward your left underarm, avoiding the rib cage. Massaging the descending colon. And as you inhale, draw both knees into the chest, hug both knees below the kneecap, and just gently draw both knees in tight. This actually massages your transverse colon as well. So you got a colon cleansing with me tonight. And then release the pressure. Send your arms out like a T, or you can goal post your arms depending on the kind of room you have. And as you exhale, draw your knees over towards the right for your final twist. Eye gaze can remain neutral, or you can inhale and turn your head away if you want a little more intense twist. And this is another pose that helps activate your sacral chakra. If your head is turned, bring it back through neutral, draw the knees in back through center. Take a pause here. And as you exhale, send those left knees away to the left. You can stay here in neutral, or you can lift your head on the inhale and turn away on the exhale. If your head is turned on the inhale, draw it back through center. Allow your knees to come back in to your chest. And then one leg at a time, extend them long for your Shavasana, your final rest that you guys all deserved. My gift to you. Arms to your side. 
just allow yourself to enjoy your final moments of peace. Take a nice inhale in through your nose and out through your nose, and we'll start the gentle reawakening process. Start to bring some gentle movements into your fingers and your toes. Feel free to rotate your ankles and your wrists counter and clockwise so we always remain in the balance. Take another inhale, inhale those arms up over your head, pointing your fingers, pointing your toes, giving your body that first morning stretch that you do each and every day when it's time to wake up. And then on your next inhale, draw those knees into your chest and gently rock side to side massaging your lower back and your sacrum and your spine because they also need TLC. And then on your next exhale, roll to your right or whatever side is intuitive, resting your ear on your bicep for final breaths and final sips of relaxation. We inhale through the nose, and sigh it out of your mouth. Inhale through the nose and just sigh it out. One more inhale and sigh it out. And then using that top arm, push yourself up off the mat, bringing yourself to a very easy, comfortable seated position, bringing your hands together at heart center for final moments. It has been my pleasure and with pure gratitude and joy to celebrate my practice with you this evening. And I hope you all enjoyed working and opening up your sacral chakra. And I hope everybody leaves feeling extremely creative and very sensual. The light in me will always honor and treasure the light in each and every one of you. Namaste, my yogis, and honor your practice always. <laughs>